Hello, good people. Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing today? And welcome to another Stormworks live stream. Hopefully, you're all doing well today. Let me know. Let me know in chat. How are you guys doing? How are you all doing today? Welcome to another Stormworks live stream. Let's get some hype going in chat. Hope you guys have been uh, enjoying the DLC lately. Victor, hey, what's going on? Welcome. Um, hope you guys have been enjoying the DLC lately. Uh, Saturn, hey, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Andre, hey, what's going on? Welcome. Welcome to the chat. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Um, we're going to be building a whole creation, hopefully from start to finish in the live stream today. So it'll be a couple of hours. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Uh, I wonder if any of you can guess what we are going to be building. Let me know in chat. Come on, come on, let's go. Tell me in chat, what do you think we're going to be building? From, of course, the thumbnail of the video. You should have a rough idea. You should have a rough idea. Come on, chat. Come on, chat. Let me know. Let me know. What, what, are, we, what are we doing? Vertex, hey, what's going on? Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. K-Buzz, hey, welcome. Lofty Square Gaming, welcome to the live stream. What are we building today, guys? Tell me. Let's go. Mr. Blobs here. Uh, looks like looks like if you train, if trains can go on the water, then yeah, sure. Boats, boats, hovercraft, <laughs> watercraft. Yeah, so you guys have probably guessed it quite well. Uh, we're going to be doing a hovercraft today. I haven't built one in Stormix before, but I mean, it should be relatively okay. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, good luck to Blob, who has to edit the video for this one. Uh, so yeah, good luck on him for editing a build, but it should be pretty fun. Um, El Papi, hey, what's going on? Welcome. Um, so, I mean, we should have quite a lot of fun here today. I think a hovercraft is going to be fun. Will there be a, a Space Engineers Community Challenge? So, for those of you that don't know, I asked you guys a few days ago in a community post what games we should check out. Yeah, and um, whichever I said whichever one got the most votes, we would check out and uh space engineers got the most space engineers got the most the most votes um so yeah we're going to be playing some space engineers i mean i've i've had a look at it in a few minutes um Elvin gaven thank you very much for being a uh member of the chat man on the channel appreciate that seven months man cool it has been yeah um so yeah we're going to have a look at space engineers i've been playing around with it i tried a lot yesterday a few minutes i tried to get my head around it because it is very different from stormworks but it looks like a lot of fun and actually to be honest i can't wait to do a video on it um so i'm really looking forward to it we might even do some live streams i don't know we're, we're gonna be playing it but anyway guys on to today's task we're going to be building a hovercraft uh that should be quite a lot of fun i said it's my first hovercraft in stormworks so uh Bear with me, we might have some issues, but uh, you guys are gonna come along along with the ride with me. You know, you're gonna learn with me as we go on, uh, and we're going to be building it from absolutely nothing until we get to something pretty cool. So, let's get going. I'm gonna share my, let's go and get Stormworks up and running here. All right, let me know how, oh, great, I just got a game crash. Fantastic, no bugs in Stormworks at all. That's me being sarcastic, by the way. Um, so we're going to load up Stormworks again. Hopefully this time it's not going to crash. Should be all right. KSP 2 isn't out yet. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, no, the KSP 2 isn't out. Uh, regular KSP is... I think they delayed KSP for a few years, didn't they? But I mean, we can always try. We can always try. Merry Christmas from Scotland. Well, we're not, not, not at Christmas just yet. We're still a few weeks away, guys. Still a few weeks away from Christmas. Um, all right. So we're in the game. Uh, I am just going to go to full screen mode because that's how I play. Uh, and we're going to get building. I mean, we're here at the Creative Island. There's nothing in here. It's completely blank. And I mean, let's, let's start. Now, I've kind of been inspired. I've been playing a little bit of Battlefield, to be honest. I, and it, it hasn't been the greatest of experiences. I mean, for all of you that have played, you probably know when you looked at the news. Uh, it, it, Battlefield has not been a great experience. But I mean, I was playing it and I was like, oh, that hovercraft looks really cool. So I was like, okay, well, let me make something similar to that in Stormworks. 
So we're going to be doing a very OP, OP hovercraft uh, that's similar. It's kind of based on the one I saw in, in Battlefield. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. Now, as I said, I haven't, I haven't built a hovercraft in Somex before. So, uh, I mean, the concept is going to be interesting to see if my concept's going to work. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't, to be honest, but, um, yeah, I mean, we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is first thing, I was going to build a little bit of a base guys. I'm not actually going to build the creation just yet. I'm actually going to build just a little bit of a test platform and I want to see if my concept will work. I, I th honestly, I think it will, but uh, I want to just try my concept out. So we're going to use some, uh, some aircraft propellers. Now, of course, in real life, a hovercraft works by having a fan that blows into a skirt and creates lift. Now, we don't have skirts in Stormworks. We don't have any of that. So I have to kind of reimagine that or uh, try and make it work in Stormworks. So I'm going to be using some possibly some rotors. As I said, if we need to adjust this, we can. But this is the idea so far is to use like one or two, even four of these and just see how we get on. So I was thinking of just doing a quick experiment to see if this is even going to be possible. I'm almost certain it will be. So I'm going to grab a couple of these. I'm going to grab a seat and I'm just going to do a very, very quick test run to see if this could work. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't, to be honest. But uh, I mean, so you can imagine that will be the hovercraft. We will build obviously around it and do everything else around it. Um, but this is the idea because I'm using rotors. These rotors have got the option to roll, collective and pitch, which are going to be very, very useful for what I'm thinking of doing with this. Now, uh, I'm thinking of just probably adding on some electrical motors right now, just for this, this part of the testing. Uh, and I'll probably put infinite electricity on in a few seconds too, just for testing guys. This is not going to be uh, how it is going to be in the future. This is just a great way for me to test if this concept will even work. So uh let's go and do a motor an electrical motor engine those for the motor let's just use some medium ones i mean as i said we're, we're just using these for testing purposes right now it's probably a little bit op but uh i think that'll be all right we're going to do that we're going to go here we're going to do up down let's do sticky and that's going to go over to my motors i'm also going to get a gyro get a gyro in and we're gonna add a gyro in there i was gonna add a battery i'm gonna get infinite electricity on probably so i'm gonna need the battery but just for now we're gonna add that in let's just connect that over to everything all right so once we've got that we can now go into all these controls now for our roll we can go straight from our a and d into our roll and then from roll into roll just like this we're going to go our your is going to go into our role also, but we don't need to test the yaw just yet. Uh, we also have our up down, which is, I mean, we should uh, up and down. Let's okay. Let's go and grab a throttle lever instead. Here, go and put that there. Let's grab that. Bring it there. We're going to now use that for our motors instead, and then the up down on our seat will just be to change the collective. I think, yeah. So up down into up down and then up down into collective we're going to make both of these on a neutral and i'm actually going to change these gearboxes to reverse Ooh, that should help us a bit uh what else do we need we need w and s which is our pitch and that's going to go to start with it's going to go on the pitcher here but eventually we're going to get the pitch onto another motor at the back that's going to be another propeller here so that will allow us to go forwards and backwards but i mean for testing purposes this is what i'm doing right now the second shadow hey what's going on welcome to the chat beautiful design yeah <laughs> um okay this is just an idea at the moment as i said guys we're probably going to change this and do a few things but for now i'm pretty happy with this we might even add some more on either side, but um, let's go and spawn that in. I'm going to turn our infinite electricity on just for testing, guys. I will turn this off later. Just need to respawn this in. All right. So let's see if this is even going to be somewhat possible. Oh, I need to turn the gyro on, don't I? Uh, let's just get a constant on. 
constant on signal for my gyro here so that it always stays on done make sure i've got electricity on everything i do cool we'll spawn that in again uh can you make reactive armor in stormix uh you could but the, it's just laggy it's way too laggy okay so that's probably enough throttle for now let's go up okay so i think we need to invert my role here because i've got because i've got it facing downwards it's the opposite way so we're going to invert the invert the roll on our roll so the roll is there we're gonna go there and then into there and into there correct yep done and done and done okay cool let's test that out now and jump in again increase again go up okay don't worry about the rotating it's fine we'll fix the rotating that's just the rotors that's perfectly fine but I mean, it is working, which is what I wanted to test. As you can see, we are able to obviously lift up and down, which is perfectly fine. And I should also be able to roll left and right. So if we were to just go and face there, this is actually, I'm going to really get busy doing this. <laughs> let's fix the, let's go and fix it. Now, if you want to fix, um, if you want to fix the rotor issue where it's going left and right like that, uh, what you can do is obviously we could add more of these on we could add on either side another other option you could do is grab the propeller like this um just grab the propeller if i can hello there we go grab the propeller like this now obviously i normally would just place it down like that press o and then place it down yeah, press O and then place it down. That way it will actually spin the opposite direction and it should counter out any of the um any of that movement that you get. One thing you do need to think about then is because we have inverted the roll, uh, we then mean to uninvert this roll here. So we can just go from there into the roll, collective into our up and down, pitch into our pitch, everything else is fine. You grab this, go to neutral and that's pretty much about it it's, it's super super easy i mean we should be able to just spawn that in and ideally it won't go and counter itself let's go and check We're up to about 20. and look at that who said building in stormworks is not hard or not easy okay there we go and now if we roll we can roll and if we go right we can go right okay now you're probably thinking about how are you going to turn how are you going to do your yaw well to do the yaw it's actually not that hard um to do the yaw on this creation something like this um all you need to do is you need to roll left on the front and roll right on the back okay so you're 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 just going in opposite directions uh and that's allowing you to literally turn on the spot so what we can do is we're going to grab an ad block I'm going to grab, uh, I mean, we can put one on either side. Uh, guys, this is just for testing once again. Uh, grab the ad block and we're going to go from here. So this one is the front for the roll. So we're going to go from here to here. And then this one is the rear one. We're going to go from here to here. Yep. And now we're going to take the yaw like this. We're going to invert one of them. So, I mean, let's just invert the... I don't want either side doesn't really matter your left and right yep there invert this one put the invert there and the non-inverted one i mean just put on the side and now we should be able to go and work let's go and check it out just testing once again now let's go up a little bit let's go left okay so that's going left on both sides ah oh, you know what we did wrong we didn't need to actually invert one because we've already inverted the rotor itself. So we didn't need to invert this. We could have just gone straight into that. Don't need that invert block. Right, let's go and check it out now. And up again. Ooh, let's go and increase throttle. Go left. Look at that. Look at that. Because I'm rolling on the left side and rolling on the right side, that's how I'm able to turn on a spot like this. Okay, so that allows me to turn left and right. Uh, it allows me to go up and down, it allows me to pitch forward, pitch backwards. Now, theoretically, guys, this is just an inverted Chinook. <laughs> in, in theory, this is an inverted Chinook. Okay, um, Alexander, hey, what's going on? Welcome to the, to the stream, bud. Um, face it, use your Chinook controller. I mean, I could, but 
I'm building something. I'm trying to show you guys how to build it. So if you wanted to build your own one, you could do that. Um, you could build your own one. So yeah. Uh, F and F. Hey, what's going on? Welcome. Uh, so now the next thing is you're probably thinking, well, how do you get it to hover at a certain like height or a certain distance? Uh, and that's where you guys can use like distance sensors and you could use a few other things like altitude holds and that kind of things. Like ideally you're going to either use a distance sensor or you're going to use an altitude sensor. So for example, distance sensor, alt sensor, put those inside there like this. And I mean, what we're going to, we probably don't want to put it over the rotor. That's probably a very bad idea. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to put one there and one there because they're just going to keep on thinking that it's very close. Uh, so we're going to put one there and one there. Uh, we could actually lower it up there and we could lower this one to about here. Okay, so we've got one alt sensor and one distance sensor on either side. So now we're going to say whichever one has got the less. Okay, so we're going to say, hey, you know what? I always want to be at a altitude of one or I always want to be one meter above the ground, either one. So what we're going to use is we're going to use a PID. Yay, I know all of you guys love PIDs. <laughs> so we're gonna use a PID here. Uh, we're going to go and connect it to the on switch. So we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna say my variable is going to be whichever one is the least amount. Okay, so whichever one of these two is the smallest, okay? Um, now there's a couple different ways you can do this. So for example, let's start it off with the distance. Okay. So we're going to put the variable as the distance. Okay. So we're going to put the variable as the process variable. Okay. Which is that the set point is going to be one, which is a number. So we're going to say, Hey, you know what? My, my height, I always want to be at uh, one height and we're going to go and enter that in as the set point. The output is then going to go to uh, gyro. And that's going to be the up and down. Okay, just there, up and down. That's it. Really simple. Go on to this. We're going to change this to one, zero, and zero. And then we'll start it off and see how it is. We can adjust it as we need to. Okay. Yes, and your pits. <laughs> Let's go and check this out. All right. Uh, I need to delete that distance sensor. Oop, let's get rid of that. Cool. Now, in theory, if we go and pull this in, increase this. It should try and lift itself to at least one height. Okay, as you can see, it's not lifting itself, which means that probably the PID is probably not strong enough. So let's go and have a quick look at it. So you can see it's active. Currently the, um, okay, we need to actually invert it. Okay, we need to invert that. Cool, so let's go and do that. So we're gonna grab here, we can come onto this, we can do a negative one on it. There we go, negative one. Spawn it in again, because it was doing negative 15. I actually need a positive to go up. Let's go jump here, jump here. Let's check. See how it's going up, but the problem is it's oscillating. So it's going up, going down, up, going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, if you want to do another cool thing to see what's actually going on on this controller, go up to it like here and you can see, have a look at it. Have a look at the um, the, art, the output. It's going 15, negative zero, 15, and negative zero, 15, and negative zero. So it's way overshooting itself. Way, 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 way overshooting itself. Now, there's a couple different ways you can go around this. I mean, the first thing you can probably do is come here and set a max value. Uh, that's... Um, no, choose A and J, cover the rotors. Huh? Um, so we're going to put a max value as one and see if that works. I've actually never used the max value on the PIDs, but I mean, we can try and see if that works. Uh, let's go and check that now. So that should now tell it the maximum that it's allowed to go is one on the PID. No, you can still see it's going 15. So that's not going to happen. Uh, let's put a clamp on it. Now, in the future, I'm probably going to be putting uh, this onto a... I'm probably going to put this onto a mic controller. But for now, uh, we're going to leave it like this. Let's do negative 0.3. And let's do 0.3 as the max. So the PID controller maximum it can go is going to be negative 0.3 and 3. Okay, then we're going to set it to that. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Well, let's go and increase it now. So you can still see it's oscillating like that, but that's that's okay. That's perfectly fine. We can slow down our gyro. We're going to go to it. Let's do like 0 0.1. Jump back on it again. And that's how it works with PIDs is you just have to play around with it. I mean, we're probably going to stop very soon because my proof of concept is working. We just need to tweak this PID. 
that's all we need to do. So we can go in here, we can bring it down again, 0.01. We want to get it until it starts getting a little bit too slow. Yeah, it's not oscillating like that. Yeah, you can still see how it's oscillating like that. Going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. If I go over to the controller, I mean, it's, it's not bad. It, it's not bad. I don't know why the... Oh, you know what an issue is? You know what a big issue is at the moment? Is that uh, this is actually reading underneath the ground. So I just want to lift this up by a bit. Have a look. Because as soon as that distance sensor actually goes into the ground or hits the ground, it starts to measure underneath, uh, underneath here. All right, let's go up a little more. Okay, now you can see it's actually not reacting. It thinks it's one, which is fine. Let's go and check. Oh, let's go forwards a bit. 0 0.2, yeah, so now it's not strong enough, which is perfectly fine. Oh, let's go and remove one of those, put it in again. Let's go and have a look. Okay. Hold up. go and check again let's go and have a look here what's going on so you can see that currently it's getting a negative 0 0.07 to stay at uh its process variable of 0. Point, so 0. 0.2 is the process of 0 0.1 okay so it's not strong enough we're kind of going backwards now uh, but now that we fix that issue that should be all right go and check again all right let's go up let's go and have a look at the pid Okay, so now it's getting a negative 0 0.79. Process variable 0 0.2. I mean, apparently that's not strong enough. Uh, it's probably because I've clamped it. So let me just put this back to like 7 and 7. And let's fix that and let's see if that works. All right, so let's go increase that one more time. Let's go and see if it's got enough power. So it's getting 0 0.79. You can see it's strong to go up trying to go up okay it's trying to go up there we're probably going to just increase it one more time uh i can probably take my clamp off actually let me take the clamp off and let's put it back onto the up down and let's go back here and let's do negative two max value i'm gonna put delete that and let's try that again and let's see how that's gonna work have a look here so now it's got a negative 1.5 i mean that can't be right because we are definitely not a negative 1.5 all right but you get the idea that's just going and playing around here i mean you can play with the distance you can play with the alt uh and a few other things there let me just double check this is connected set point is set to one that's fine that definitely is going out to my up and down and my up downs are going to my collectives so that's fine there too and i mean it should in theory be pulling it up but i mean that's probably five one block 0 0.25 meters correct one block is 0 0.25 meters so when i went there and put a distance of one that's four meters above the ground that is four meters above the ground that's why when we were on the ground it read 0 0.25 so yeah that is correct Happy Thanksgiving from Colorado, United States of America. Yes, happy Thanksgiving to you too, man. Um, so, I mean, we could sit here all day playing around with this PID. As I said, this is my proof of concept. I'm happy with it. Um, I'm not going to use the reload the logic, but you can see how we can use the propellers here to go and turn and things like that. So, I'm pretty happy with this so far. So, now we're going to go and actually build the creation. So, we're going to delete all this. I don't care about any of this. We're going to go and create the creation now. All right, so now time to build. So I'm gonna start with a base. Uh, you guys know I always start with a base of something and then I work around that. Uh, so let's go and start with the cockpit. So I was thinking of doing something like that. Uh, let's do something like that. Start with, and let's maybe go, we're probably gonna go into a window at some stage, but I mean, for now we're going to leave it as wedges. I always do the whole creation and wedges and then I come back afterwards and then I start playing around with it. So we're probably going to have, let's for let's just imagine here, we're going to have 
go up here, we're going to have maybe a window there, maybe something like that. Yeah, why not? Uh, and then it's going to come around. It's going to go down across like this. I mean, probably this is going to be Windows 2 going across like that. And then Windows are going to go across like that. I don't know, something like that. I mean, this is just a very rough, 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 rough uh, design of it. Uh, we probably actually use this here. Something like this. Yeah, possibly something like that. We'll play around. We can even go one higher here. We can do something like that. And then do some more wedges on the top here. And angle that out. Try not to use too much black for you guys so you guys can actually still see what I'm doing. Hey, okay, would you get the idea so far? So this will be the little cockpit area. It's probably gonna go uh, about to about there, maybe. Cool, here at the back, we can maybe do a little area there too. Uh, then it's gonna go out. So I mean, we can probably close this in like that. Here at the front, we could probably start to close this into this. Yeah. Cool, so that would be the front area. It's gonna go around and then you can see we're probably gonna angle it something like that. We might shorten it a bit, so that might be a little bit too long, I think. Might do something like that. And then you can imagine that here at the back is where we're going to have our propeller eventually, our thrust propeller. That's gonna push us backwards. Uh, so that's what we're going to put over here. So you can imagine, let's do Get a propeller or something to put there in the meantime so i can show you guys do rotor yeah possibly something like that we might change just the height or the size of that but uh something like that and that will go at the back of it here so probably get a nice large motor for our lift fans so probably maybe a motor like here for example for our lift fans I'm thinking of also using modular engines for this build. I know you guys, let me know what you guys think of modular engines. Uh, so probably something like that. And then this is gonna have its own motor too. So possibly something like that. Very rough, rough, rough outline of what this is probably going to start looking like. And then I mean, for this thing at the back, we can probably change the size of this, make it a little bit smaller. Like so, and probably even drop it down a bit. Yeah, I probably drop it down a few blocks because now we don't have to deal with the. Yeah, I'm probably going to drop that down by what one block, maybe two blocks. Possibly. Yeah. Drop that down by one or two blocks. I mean, easy way to do that would be just grab a selection tool, grab that, I like that, cut it, drop it down, like that. Done. And let's rejoin it back together. Uh, and then we're going to have like some type of guard system around it. So you can see how this goes like so. We're going to delete that off, probably delete all this stuff off underneath it. And then something like that. Yeah. And this will be the guard system that will go around it here at the back. And then eventually we're going to get... We're probably going to get something that will then poke out that will put like fins and things on the back. That's my idea so far. Chat, what, what, what's going on with you guys? What's going on? How can I change uh, the noise of the engine's dormix? Uh, theoretically, you can't. Sorry. We should use modular engines. Yeah. Modular engines are fun. Yeah, they are. Modular engines are always pretty fun to play with. Um, put a case ring around the propeller. Yeah, we probably will do something like that. Um, as I said, we're just getting the very rough ideas of we're getting the very rough ideas of it and how it works. Uh, anyone have the link to the A10 he built? Uh, yes, on my workshop. Uh, if you go to my YouTube, uh, there's a link to my workshop on YouTube. Or if you go into Steam and you type in J. Uh, you should be able to find my stuff pretty easily. Um, how would it work when it's sideways? What do you mean? The the propeller at the back? Is that what you're referring to? How will that work sideways? Let me know. 
All right, so we've got that design so far. Uh, I mean, let's go and carry on. Let's add some more features onto this, I think. Uh, I'm pretty happy so far with what we've got. As I said, we might adjust it as we carry on building and so on and so on and so on, guys. Uh, that's the whole point of, of building like this. But let's just carry on building this and let's just see what else we can get in. So we've built this little frame around it. We're going to be building uh, probably a module engine here, probably another module engine inside that casing, quite a big one. Uh, so that it's going to be fun to play with. Um, as I said earlier on, we're going to build some type of cage system, well, not cage system, but some type of um, rack system or rail system that we're going to have some rudders on. And those rudders will not fin uh, control surfaces, sorry. Control surfaces, maybe some medium ones. Let's just have a look at the size here. Uh, medium? Do you think medium will be all right? Medium looks a little bit big. Uh, I probably want to go with small. Yeah, I think I'll go with small. I'll probably put a couple like there. So one, two there, maybe even three, one in the center and then two on the sides. Uh, and then possibly one at the top, maybe. Yeah, that could work, actually. So we just do one. Actually, I might drop this down by one. But yeah, thinking of probably putting one there. And then another two, like one there. And so, okay, let's go and build that in quickly so I'm just gonna put this in for now so you guys can see what I'm thinking so there I'm gonna, as long as that doesn't get affected by that so it should be fine I go there and let's just build this around like so and now if we grab the small control surface let's put that in white probably gonna go with one there one there and then possibly like one here I don't know I might this feels like it's a little bit too high. But that's what I have there, and then possibly one here. And then I'll just delete this off. And kind of get an idea of what we're going for there. I don't know. Let's see. All right. Cool. Um, so that's the propellers. Now we need to do the skirting sometimes. Uh, we need to do the skirting at some point in time. So that will go completely around the creation. As said in Stormix, we really don't actually have a skirting system. So that's uh, something we have to think about. Uh, but I think it will just probably just do a hard casing around it. And that, that's how we're going to get through it. Uh, let's get the windows in because why not? I mean, chat, do you think we should lower this by one? Do you think that's a little bit too high? I mean, you can imagine we're going to have the skirting that's going to go. Let's just put this for here for right now. This is not how it's going to look, but you can imagine if that's the skirting. Probably. You think that's one too high? We're going to add weapons. Yes, we are. We're going to add weapons. Do you think that's too high, the cabin? Or do you think that's all right? What do you guys think of height wise on that? Too big, too small? Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I, I'm kind of starting to think that we should drop that by one and make that one lower. Because you can imagine if I'm sitting in there. <sighs> yeah, I think I should drop it down by one. Yeah, too high? Yeah. It's okay. Does look a little bit lofty. Yeah. I'm thinking it looks one too high. So that's why I'm thinking of dropping it now. Let's delete this off. Delete that. Grab this. And let's just see how that might look in comparison. So, I mean, this would probably be white. So this will be black. And that would be black there. I think that's probably going to look much better yeah that looks better doesn't it that will look a little better in there i think you can imagine having a little window in there and you're gonna have your character popping out cool i think that's gonna be good we might even lower the back part just a little bit i mean yeah i might lower it just by one here in the back but not by much definitely not by much Smaller cockpit or uh, smaller cockpit or bigger craft, I think. Yeah, I think this is probably going to be cool. Uh, all right, so let's start building 
let's start building the actual like flotation system around it or the in theory the rubber skirting or whatever you guys want to call it uh, we're going to build that as i said earlier on it's not possible to really build it in stormworks but i mean we're going to try and get as close as we can to make it look really cool uh and we're going to do that by probably going is that probably enough out i mean we can probably go out more couldn't we let's just imagine that's that's going to go there that's going to go there that's going to go there and then that's probably going to go something like that and then we're going to grab let's grab uh these guys so if you were to do something like that and then go into something like that and then go like one two down and then once again grab it here and then here maybe just go down one two let's see what that could look like and we can always adjust this guys but this is just building from scratch you think that's a little bit too thick i feel like it's a little bit too thick were we to do that all the way around then maybe let's do let's just build a little bit of an outline here and let's see how this could look so if we're going to do something like that grab this and then maybe go to you want to get some nice round shapes with this it's the idea here so here we will grab one of these guys. That there. Yeah, why not? So we can do that, that, grab that. And I'm holding control, by the way. If you want to grab a component or something and pick it up, you just hold control and you can actually grab it, uh, which is a nice little feature. Uh, cool. Let's grab see how we can do the next part here which is going to be the toughest i think do that see that doesn't fit there top one does but the bottom one doesn't so i mean here is the probably going to be the hardest challenge for us to make that match up but um i mean you, you guys are getting the idea of what i'm going for which is fantastic do you think that's a little bit too big chat Duty, hey, what's going, man? Welcome. Feel like it's one too high. Feel like it should be a little bit thinner. What do you guys think? A little bit thinner. Actually, might that might be good. Actually, I might just uh, round this out a little bit better. I feel like it's not rounded out perfectly. Uh, what if we were to just do that? That doesn't look right, does it? You want to get like a nice, beautiful round shape here in the front. Well, I mean, that round there is like almost perfect. Look at that round shape there. That is almost spot on. Uh, now it's just the rest of it that needs to be fixed up, I think. But let's just do here. And if we do the front, we'll do the back very easily. And then we go here, delete this off, put this in done okay now we just need to make this corner piece match up as i said earlier is probably the hardest part here so let's go into here grab these we're gonna go there there we're gonna delete that and we're gonna go there and there that gets filled in there that is gonna be fun <laughs> to fix this one this is really gonna be fun isn't it Mm -mm -mm, to make that match up it's not really i don't even think it's possible it's not it's not possible you would need to bring this one back Let's see you need to bring this one back at least like that hmm actually you know what i'm thinking chat Let's see. Uh, it does seem pretty square. Yeah, so what I'm thinking... I'm thinking something else quickly. So I'm thinking of maybe making a little bit more of a separation between our actual hovercraft and... and everything else. So if we were to just build this one more, one more down here, then... 
So you can see like that how I've built it down one. Now we're going to build, let's for example, say we build a line here. And then we were to possibly start going up. So maybe, uh, let's just imagine we were to do this. Yeah, do that. Then put that. Then put this. This might make it way too wide, but I, I'm very interested to see how this might turn out. We will also eventually hollow this out and something like that. Grab that. And then, just for example, say we would start bringing it down again. That's. What do you guys think of that? Do you think that's way too big? That might be one too bigger, surely. Maybe. All we need to do is just create a perfect, almost a perfect circle in theory. All right, I have another idea. I have another idea. This is the fun part of our building, is you get lots of different ideas. So, that all. That's, uh, go here, delete this. Great, you can just test all these different designs. That's way too round, isn't it? Or working space on the outside? Yeah, that's one way you can look at it, surely. Too big. Some of you guys say too big, some of you say too small. Let's delete some of this. We're going to go to, what I like to do is, when I get stuck like this, guys, what I like to do sometimes is just make a big square. Like this, delete all this off, get rid of it. Make a big square like this. Okay. And then you can imagine, okay, we're gonna say, well, this is where we're gonna stop it, for example. And then just have a look at it and go, okay, well, you know what? I possibly want like, let's say wedge over there. Then I want it to, you can even get paint block if you want. So for example, you'd be like, well, I don't really want that. And if I delete that off, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And just try to make it look half decent like this. You can really see how I've started to make it look not too bad, actually. So if we were to go from here, grab our white again. And you can see, okay, if we were to build it like that, build it like that, and then build it like this, and then like this. Okay. So you can see that looking a little bit squarish. And if you wanted to then, let's say, smooth that out, you grab the one by two wedges there. And I mean, we could grab another one by two wedge here, for example. And you can straight away see how I'm starting to smooth that out. Uh, and then for example, here, if I want to, I could do that. And then maybe something like that. Or I could even just get rid of it and just make it go straight up to that. It's up to me. Uh, let's go and delete that. Delete all this out. That out. Delete that out, delete that out. And we're just going to now go and imitate that all the way across. We'll get rid of all the extra pieces we don't want. Something like that. That's and then go across. And like that. So you can see how that's looking, chat. Just imagine, imagine that was completed, but you see that from there? That's what I'm going to go with, I think. HT plays need to go. Well, cheers, man. Thank you for dropping in and watching the stream. That's going to make the corners impossible. I mean, let's, let's, let's try it out. I mean, you know, you know, let's see if we get stuck again, we get stuck we need to do something else. But I mean, it's always worth trying something. Yeah, that's the way I look at it, at least. Have fun in Jay. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. All right. So, I mean, it's not perfectly round. Like this is not round there, that piece there. But I mean, you can imagine it going in there. And I mean, what, I think once everything's complete, I think it's going to look it will look look half decent if we need to really change something we can change it um but right now i think i'm pretty happy let's go and do that and maybe 
that and let's see if I can just get this to connect up somewhat. If we do something like that. That's going to get filled in like so. This is going to get filled in like that. Delete this off. Uh, this is going to get a wedge system and I need to somehow, as I said earlier, I need to somehow join, join this together. And we're just going to continue this whole thing literally all the way around and eventually I wonder if we should go into delete that off and grab one two by two permits something like that that looks not bad I think I think we can work with that uh we then go into a single wedge and we'll, as I said we'll delete all these extra blocks in the interior in a few seconds we're gonna go oops I'm gonna go back uh, we're going to put that there and then you can imagine these pieces we're going to go with a inverse permit so so and then this part here is relatively quite easy now it doesn't look i mean it's not 100 percent square and that is the issue um is it's not 100 percent square like that does look quite edgy doesn't it over there That is looking a little bit edgy there, isn't it? Uh, so what we could do is let's, let's do some magic here. I need to grab this guy. Stick this guy inside there and then come here and stick this guy inside here. See if I can come up with a little bit of an idea here. And then let's see. Then if we were to go into this would then go into something like this this would then go into that delete that delete that delete that there that's what i'm going to go with uh this is going to go into that don't ask me. okay there we go this is perfect that and then that and then that delete that delete that this we can grab one of these guys that we can grab a one by two wedge and that's one by two wedge Da -da. Da -da, da -da, da -da. All right, I'm happy with that. Uh, I just want to, yeah, I'm pretty cool. Let's go and spawn that in. Now, before we do spawn that in, I just want to paint it so you guys can kind of get this idea of what it's going to look like. We'll go with dark gray for now. Uh, boop, 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 boop. How lo lovely is it now to use mirror mode and paint both sides of wedges? And that was a, such a cool feature that we got. I mean, it's, it, it, feels, it seems like such a simple feature, but such a needed feature. And then you can imagine this is going to go here, and we're probably going to go... How should we do this part? I mean, probably just go like that, straight down. That's that's probably how this is going to go here in the front. We can adjust it later. Uh, let me just paint it so I can show you guys. And that's what eventually it's going to start looking like. I mean, not bad, eh? Not bad for, for a little quick, little quick one. I think that's gonna look alright. Are you gonna make a lift? Yeah, fans. We use uh, uh ducted fans. No, we don't use ducted fans. We use our uh, propellers because propellers have uh, the ability to pitch, roll, and yaw. Uh, that's why not your collective. Uh, that's why I prefer to use them. Otherwise, you need to use uh, lift fans with. I mean, you could in theory get away with using lift fans, but I don't know. I just prefer to use propellers. Yes, will I make it hover on land? Yeah, it will hover on land and also on water. It's going to hover on both. Uh, I'm going to bring this back to white, guys. So uh, I'm just going to bring this all back to white. Cool. And we're going to build the underneath pieces now. And then we're going to hollow out anything that we don't need. So I'm actually probably going to start hollowing it out right now before we do any more. Uh, that way I have an idea of what's going on. So let me just delete all of this off. Do I, do I need any of this stuff? Let's just check. I'll probably get rid of all of this part in there. I can probably get rid of all this stuff. Yep, all of this can go. All of that can go. All of that can go. Uh, all of this can go. This can go. That can go. That can stay. This can all go. This can all go except that part there that needs to stay uh that needs to stay 
That can all go. That needs to stay. All this stuff. What about that? Can that all go? Yep, this can all go. I mean, you want to clear up as much of this as possible. That way you don't have any uh, or issues. But the main reason why I'm doing that is also for flotation reasons. Uh, I want this thing to float on the water when we do stop the lift lands. I don't want this thing just to sink. So we will make all of this like watertight. Uh, I'm going to try and use as little as possible wedges. Uh, so not wedges, pivots. So you guys can use this in multiplayer. Uh, I want to try my best to make this as FPS friendly, shall we say. As possible uh, for you guys in multiplayer and for me in multiplayer and stuff so we're gonna use as little as possible when it comes to wedges uh, this I do want to raise where's this piece so it's underneath that off I want to go and bring this piece down by one so I want to get rid of this I think is the option here yeah I want to drop that down by one Think that will look a little bit cleaner here uh, and then for the rear we can just copy the front and paste it into the back uh missing jersey add torpedoes we might do that uh black anomaly hey what's going on welcome 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 and then we can drop this propeller system also one down uh that will be that will make this whole back section look a little better i'm still thinking about these uh, i'm thinking maybe get rid of them or make them smaller i mean it feels like a little bit too much to have those big propellers but i said we might play around with that uh, let's go and carry on building underneath where we were early on. So uh, here is where we're going to make this all connect up to each other like that. And this is all just going to get connected up to each other in theory. And this is why it's because this area inside here is where we're going to then have our propellers and things to lift this creation. So let me just go and fill all the stuff in like so. And then here we can grab this piece bring it to about there as i said the rear part we will get filled in in a few minutes are we just going to copy and paste the the front section into the rear it's going to make our life much easier but first we need to finish the front section uh for here is the next question is we need to make sure that this all works so i'm going to grab this make sure that this all can actually match up with each other. I don't see why I can't because we've got the same. The only thing I might have to change is this into a one by a. There we go. And then I just need to replicate what I've got on top. So I'm using the inverse pyramids for all of this. Go here and build that there. Come on, build. Sometimes it doesn't like building, sometimes it does. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing here. And there we go. So that is completely done then nice and then we just need to copy and paste that to the rear and that is completely 100 percent sealed off uh and i'm pretty happy with that and then you can imagine the rest of the the cockpit you can imagine these are the door the windows so there there we're gonna have another window there this is gonna go down a couple blocks maybe like one two three and then you're gonna get your floor that's probably how the cockpit's gonna work at some stage Let's fill this out. Fill this out. I might bring it up one, but uh, for now I'm pretty happy. Let's close this off. And then this should actually float in a few seconds if we were to go and test it. Uh, that should actually go and float, except the cockpit, because the cockpit is currently open. That's what I've got so far. I'm probably also going to put a window here at the back. Maybe not that big. Just a window there. Uh, cool. There we go. We need to copy and paste the back to the front to the back. So we're going to go here, grab this up. Cross, cross. Okay, so you like that, and then we're just going to go cross like that. Copy it, rotate it, make sure it's centered. One across, and we're just going to go straight to the back here. I'm going to choose a spot to put it, so I'm going to probably going to go about there. Yeah, about there looks fine. Paste it in, join it together, and just fill out the blanks, which are only a few blocks here and there. Done. Grab a one by two wedge, a one by one wedge. Grab that. Now we could even go inside and all these square blocks we could replace with wedges. That way we get a little bit more buoyancy out of the creation, a little bit more flotation. Uh, all right. And the next thing I want to do is I want to drop this whole propeller system down by one. So that's one. That's that. Yeah, I'm going to drop that whole propeller system down by one. So that's. Cross, cross, cross. Up, 
down and we're going to cut that and I'm just going to cut it until it interferes. Could actually get it to about that height, but I'm thinking going up by one. I think that height is fine. Paste it in and then we just need to rejoin it. Done. This will then go into there like that. Uh, this we can once again smooth this out by using some wedges. So wedge, wedge. Do the same thing in the center if I'm allowed to. Yes, I should be able to. So hopefully, I don't think it will interfere with. Oh, let me get rid of these. Hold on. Done. Done. We can always make that propeller smaller if we need to. There we go. I don't know if it's going to interfere. If it does, we can always expand this and just bring it out by one more. Uh, but I mean, that's the idea so far. All right, that's what I, that's what I got so far with it. We'll see what happens. Geronimo, hey, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. I think Ger Geronimo here has made some hovercrafts before. I could be wrong. He'll tell. He, I'm sure he's done one. I'm sure he did a military themed one. He'll tell us. I think we did one, or well, he did one. Missiles, maybe. Or come with missiles on it, possibly. Please give a turret with a tow launcher. We're going to probably put some turrets over, like a turret over here. That's my one thought is put a turret over there. And I'm going to put <laughs> folding machine guns on the sides. I'm going to put folding machine guns over here. Yeah, facing forwards, just like uh, in, in Battlefield, I think. I think is, the, is how they did it. It's going to look very similar. I'm kind of contemplating... Uh, making this thing like one or two wider cabin, but actually, I think I'm I think I'm going to be all right. I think we're going to be fine with this. Eric, hey, what's going on? Welcome. Let's go ahead and spawn that in, and that's what it's looking like so far. That's all we have so far in terms of the hovercraft. I mean, this is a very rough design. It's just a few minutes. Okay, should we go and spawn this in the water? I just want to see if this thing floats. I mean, it, it should. It's got no weight in it, so I don't see why it wouldn't float in the water. Uh, I'm just going to use the add-on editor, which you guys actually can't see. I'm sorry, it's OBS. It captures super weird, um, but you can see part of it, which is super weird. I don't know why it doesn't capture like the overlay, um, but I'm just going to spawn the hovercraft in the water, so you guys will see that in a few seconds. There it is right there. So it does float. You get the idea of what we're going for. Busy, how's your day? Day's going well, thanks. Having some fun, streaming, back in Snorlax. Been looking at Space Engineers a bit. I need to make a video of it, having a lot of fun. Um... All right, Sebastian, Sebastian's here too. Um, watching some Snorlax. Link D, hey, what's going on? Welcome. So that's what we're going with so far. I mean, it's very compact. It's very small. Um, and I mean, it, it, it should be fine. I mean, we can adjust anything else that we want to, but that's what that's what we have. You can imagine sitting inside there. Uh, I think it's going to look it's going to look pretty cool. Definitely think it's going to look pretty cool. You can imagine that over on the horizon with some machine guns on top, uh, some machine guns on the side. I think it's going to look half decent. Cool, let's go back into building. Uh, if I can get out of better mode. There we go. Cool. Uh, is it possible uh, a hidden torpedo under the hovercraft of a craft that creates drags? What do you mean? Um, I want to start putting things out in the workshop. Uh, do you think my creations might have potential? Any tips? Uh, I just put just put things on the workshop, man. Uh, just put things on the workshop and see how people enjoy them or like them or don't like them. Just just do it. I mean, there's no point of saying it. Uh, just do it. Just do it. That's the only thing I would do. Space Engineers is a good game. Yeah, we're going to we're going to check it out. We're going to check it out. I'm sure someone can explain to you why we're looking at it because uh, <laughs> we've spoken about it quite a bit. Um, all right. So a couple things that I want to do next. I mean, one thing that I'm also thinking about chat is what if we were to go with a too high window 
instead of a three high window. Do you think a two high window will look better? I feel like a two high window is a little bit too skinny. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think of a two high window? While you guys are thinking about that, I'm going to get some seats in this creation. Uh, 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 we're going to grab this one. Actually, well, it's going to, we can't put the seat in until you guys think what height you want. Maybe that height. I mean, I probably want that height, don't I? And that's probably going to be way too low if we're going to go with it too high. Three is better. All right, we'll go with the three. I mean, I can I can bring the flooring a little bit higher too, or we can leave the flooring low and we can just make like a little raised platform for the seats. Uh, I probably am not going to do that, but we'll have to wait and see. Let's bring this back by one. Put that there because we do want a little bit of buffer room for our cockpit here. That up, that up. Go there. Let's grab some more. Another season. I'm going to make a left hand drive, guys. They're going to hate me, but I'm going to go left hand drive for that one. Uh, Three high. Three high. Yeah, I love you guys are saying three. Okay, we'll go three high then. Why not? Uh, let's put some windows in. So, windows. Do. Every time I say window, I just think of the. Need for Speed. There's a song in Need for Speed, like one of the classic Need for Speed games. Uh, now that is interfering with the seat, so we're going to have to move the seat back by one, but that's perfectly fine. I don't mind moving it back by one. Don't affect too much. Done. And here we can grab these blocks to bring this up like that. Uh, we can even, you know, what we could do, Charles. Could. We could even make this into like a one by two. Could do something like that. That might look a little bit cooler. But it's just an idea I've got at the moment. Uh, let's go and grab the window corner pieces. Are we going to use these ones today? Yes. We're going to stick a few of those in. So here. Yep. Okay. I want to get symmetry mode on, by the way. Uh, uh, uh. Delete that. Put that in there. Grab the windows, we're gonna go with diamonds, window angle three by threes. I mean, our other option is to get a modded window or XML, XML modded and do like one big window here in the front. But I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards doing two separate ones like that. I know, I think it looks a little better, but um, I know you, you guys let me know what you think. I also wanna get a side window in these windows I can't really use one of those can I no it would look weird so here I'm going to invert that and stick that in there and then I mean I always hate this because you can never get a block that actually works in there I mean, the only option is theoretically is to get like a one by two wedge but I mean it just looks weird if you were to grab one of those I would love that to be a window but it's very hard to make that a window unfortunately so the only other option you kind of get is to do that uh, and then build some windows around it unfortunately at the moment stomachs I'll uh, grab that then you grab a one by one like that and the problem is then that whole area doesn't become sealed because if you've got a window like that so this area here at the top isn't sealed in theory uh, i mean it might be i don't think it is though we would need to physically put a block on top of it and i think if we were to use this this doesn't seal it because it kind of thinks that this is completely open now which is a little bit irritating i remember if we have an xml modded window for that piece there i don't think we do but that's only if we're going to use the sloped front piece, which I mean, we can get rid of it, can't we? Let's go back to something like this. We could even put windows in here. We could even put windows in at the top here. So like a little skylight. 
that could be pretty cool. So we could do get rid of that and uh, do let's do like a this one. I never know anymore with these new window pieces what's what. It's super three by one. Yes, that's the one. Super. Uh, no offense, but a super silly way of naming them, I think. Uh, and then could do something like. I mean, I don't know if we should put skylights in here. We need a skylight in the hovercraft. Chat. All right. Skylight chat. Yes, no. Yay, nay. I'm, I'm kind of thinking no, because we've already got a little bit of height on here. I mean, if we were doing a two high window, then maybe a skylight might be useful. But I think because we've got a three high, I'm kind of going against it. Go back to that. All right, cool. Let's go and add the rest of the windows in. Uh, NJ, could you create a two by one overhang at the top? I would create some laid effect. I, uh, I mean, we could. We could do what, like, like that. Yeah, we could. That way, it would actually be sealed, which is quite smart. Uh, or at least it should be sealed. So that would be pretty cool, actually. Yeah, let's go with that. Why not? Good idea. Well done, you. Well done, you. Ah, uh, cool. So we've got that. What else do we want to do? It would improve visibility. We'll have a think about it later chat <laughs> we'll circle back to this moment uh we need to get the windows in so i mean the biggest options we have for the windows is these unless we were to go for portholes which i don't really want to do so i'm going to go with this and i will go with that fill the rest in like that look fantastic I mean, I might just do that. Uh, grab a two by three and a two by three and split it off like that. I think I might do that. And then we're going to grab a one by one blank block to create some mirrors. We're going to use these for mirrors. Those. Leave that off and you can imagine we're going to have mirrors here probably. Here. It's probably where I want the mirror. Put just one block there, and then once we put that down, you can actually put that down. There we go. That's my mirrors. <laughs> I'm kind of contemplating now, thinking that this is a little bit too. What if I hold on chat? Get rid of that. Get rid of all of that. Bear with me, I'll put it back. I get angry. No, we're going to go back to how we might change it later. Ah, uh, cool. So we got that. Uh, you can imagine the top here. We might have like a bar that has got some spotlights on it, possibly. It's one, but we're going to get two for now. Uh, let's do like a bar across here with some spotlights. We're just going to slowly detail this chat. Spotlight like that. And then what I'm thinking actually is can I do something like that? That look a little bit weird. Looks pretty weird. Something like that. Got our spotlights. Can I make for mirrors functional with cameras and monitors? I can. Uh, do I want to? Is the question. Uh, we also need to do the hatch to get in and out. Uh, I think I'm probably just going to do a door of the pack. Um, ideally you should be getting in from here or um, make this the hatch because you know what I was thinking guys is, uh, for the win. So for here, so what I was thinking is to grab some pivots. I'll show you what I was thinking now. Uh, velocity pivots and do that. And then let's go back one more. I just want to show you one thing, guys, that I'm thinking of at the moment. Velocity pivots inside. And here. 
yeah like that this is my idea chart that i'm going for this is not finalized but this is what my idea is on the sides uh i mean we could even go out one can we is to get some machine guns on the sides i think that's gonna be, that's gonna work probably even go out by one more this is not final by the way chat um but that's what i'm thinking is to get some machine guns on either side that can go and shoot and then we're going to put a turret and then we're going to put another we're going to put like a turret on here uh, and then that way it's going to shoot from the top also a bunch of accessories uh no i want to get a turret i i just want a turret here at the top and this is what i'm thinking is to put a turret in and then in the turret we'll have like a, a light auto cannon or maybe a dual light auto cannon uh that's that's my idea at the moment for for this turret here so i mean we can probably i'm just doing a very rough very very rough idea of what this could look like but uh you can imagine something like that an auto cannon a light auto cannon and not gonna stay like this by the way but this is just a idea probably gonna go back by two and grab and delete it so that will probably go on top like that so i have a, a light auto cannon some side machine guns um and then here these are i'm thinking of having these controlled via the gunner seat or by the driving seat uh otherwise what we could do is we could actually make it where these windows close and then you you have like a, a control handle here that you can go and shoot with but uh that's what i have so far i think is a turret ring um no because i want this to be controlled remotely uh or at least from the cockpit i don't want i don't want someone coming up here and actually controlling it uh you could do missile pods at the back uh yeah we could we could add missiles over here that shoot up like that uh that shoot like up there i mean there's so many possibilities for creation like this and that, that's you know this is the cool thing about this now what i think we should do chat what i think we should start doing is we should stop building in terms of like design wise because now we have the general we have the general design um so what i'm thinking now is to stop building it and start building the engines and start building everything else that we need to actually make this thing work uh, because we're going to need modular engines for the lift rotors or fans and we also need another module engine for this rear uh this rear thing we also need to check to see if that's going to cause issues with that little casing that i've got on the outside we might delete the casing um man if you add a battle cannon on the top of cool but strange i know that's the thing turret ring that's for old what's like you <laughs> yeah all right have the bertha cannon i mean we could definitely add a bertha cannon and you can add anything you want all right so let's go and delete all this off and this is where i'm thinking of having my first i'm going to have two modular engines by the way uh, i'm thinking of having one here and this is the one that's going to go and provide the lift for the fans underneath this creation um can i lift this down by one hold on i think i can can't i and bring this back up there we go uh hmm. hold on what if i was to just make the floor there and I yeah, I can still get in there. That's fine. Uh, that should give us enough room now for us to add the propellers and things. And I'm going to start probably, guys, by adding only two propellers. Don't think we're going to need more. But, I mean, we have enough space to play around in here. But, uh, I mean, for now, I think we're pretty cool. Okay. Um, are you going to make guns, radar, tracking, NJ? Uh, guns, radar, tracking. We've done a video on radar tracking already done a video on radar tracking already heavy auto cannon on top maybe we'll see we'll see all right so engine 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 module engine we're going to use uh boop, 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 module engines all right we're going to go with uh the small module engines i know they sound like lawn mowers uh but we're gonna go with the small engine because it looks cool and it's i like building with them so we're going to go and build one of those and we're going to go with a nice small little design here. I'm going to take symmetry mode. Oh, actually, I'll get symmetry mode back on. 
Uh, so we can probably go here. Yeah, one, two, three, four. How many cylinders should we go for? 12 cylinder? 16 cylinder? Two 16 cylinder engines? Yeah, we'll go one big engine on here, one big one here. Yeah, I shall want us. Uh, so let's go with our crankshaft. These will be like completely self sufficient ones too, so we'll have everything on them. Let's go and grab that. Something like that. I mean, we could lower that down by one, couldn't we? I do that. Cool. Let's add my belts and all those other kinds of things that I need. I can also even make it a three, I mean, a six, what, well, three, six, nine cylinder? Go with that. Yeah. Probably do something like that. Uh, let's go and add some other things. So we're going to go with a belt. We're going to. It's been a while. I feel like it's been a while since I played with modular engines, but I mean, I've been building. Well, I can't even remember what I've been building. Make it supercharged. Uh, I mean, we can. We can make it supercharged. I mean, why not? You know, that was starter. We also need a radiator at some point. I might as well add it now. Gonna make it a, a guys, I'm gonna make this like a whole unit. So I like, think of like a think of like a prefab kind of vibe. So we're gonna go with that. Um we're going to add a little pump on to move water around our radiator. Uh, alternator, probably not. Uh modular engine fluid pump. So we're probably gonna go with that. Let's put it in here. We were to put it on the other side. Or if I was to put it actually underneath, hold on, underneath would be good. Yeah, underneath is perfect because then you get this and then you literally just loop it back around. Uh, and we can go, first things first is I need to get it to go into a manifold. Yeah, okay, so if we get a cooling manifold and I stick it there, I know it's not touching, that's fine if you do that. And then you grab a manifold, grab that and that. There we go. And that's now your cooling done. And we just need to loop that back around. Like so. And like so. And then across. Doop, doop. And that is our cooling done. Uh, what else? We've got our starter. So that's done. We need our air. So let's grab air. We're going to use an air filter in a few seconds. We might make, I said, we might make this supercharged, but um, not turbo super. So let's put that in there for now. We also need fuel line. So fuel line is probably just going to be hidden somewhere here and go underneath the creation. So manifold, and that's going to be a fuel manifold. That's probably going to go in here, and that's going to go through, through there into somewhere in the creation somewhere. We can even put some tanks on the external part. And then theoretically, all we need to do now is we've got air, we've got fuel. Uh, we have got cooling, we need exhaust, and we just need uh, the manifold. So exhaust I'm probably going to do here at the back. So I'm probably going to go uh, like this and like this and then out to the side and then maybe through some catalytic converters and things like that. So we can probably do that. That's T piece. And then maybe into some converters or something. Uh, converters and we probably need about two of those and then you can imagine that from there we're going to get an exhaust or oh, we don't even need an exhaust we could use we could use an exhaust couldn't we mm, if we were to use an exhaust we need to get rid of the catalytic converters so I'll probably put one there now with the catalytic converters make sure you have exhaust facing the right way uh, this might actually be an issue joining these two together like I've just done there so I might just delete that and then grab an exhaust and stick that wherever the exhaust pieces are. There we go. Might just stick that in like that. All right. Uh, and then literally the last part we're going to need is some way to connect this. So in theory, all we need to do is just connect this this bank over to this one and connect this band over to this one. Now to make the engine look cool, uh, I'm going to just add a bunch of these on. It doesn't do anything, guys. It's not performance wise. This does absolutely nothing performance. This is just me making the engine look a little bit nicer uh, by adding that in. All uh, right, cool. So that's all done. That's all done. That's a nice little hefty little engine there. 
I mean, we could make it cleaner, we could make it better, but uh, I like it being quite exposed like that. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, we do need a clutch. And we just need to bring the power down into pretty much just straight down. So we're going to do that and that. And probably even add a gearbox in there. Gearbox facing the engine. And we're going to go down. There we go. There is it right there. We're going to grab an enclosed pipe. Enclosed pipe. And we're going to grab an enclosed straight piece. And I'll catch up with chat in a few seconds. And that's one piece is then going to feed both of my engines, I think. That one pipe there will feed both of my engines. Chat, what's going on? Hey, the engine uh, that doesn't look cool isn't worth building. Oh, that's the thing. Like, you can stick the engine inside the hole. Like, we could, we could have easily, guys, we could have easily put this engine inside the hole. But, I mean, I think it's, a, it's cool to have your engine out. I mean, I think it just looks cooler. Have your engine out like that. You can... Once this is painted and we've got all the detailing, have that engine out there. We can even add some covers to it. But having your engine there, you can go and repair it. So have another engine over here. I think it's pretty cool to see the engine. But that's my opinion. That's my opinion. Paulingo Gaming. Hey, what's going on, man? Welcome. All right. Um, am I going to upload this to the workshop? Yeah, of course, man. Of course, at some stage, we might make this into... I mean, we'll see how far we get today. I'm hoping to get as much done as possible. Um, but we'll, we'll see how we get on, to be honest. Trevor, hello world. Hello world to you too, man. Right, cool. Let's get this up and running. We're going to use my modular engine controller. Do, do, do. Set RPS. Sure. I mean, let's go and use that. We're going to stick the logic somewhere inside the hell where you're never going to see it. And eventually we will need two of them. So I'm going to put two in there right now uh that's it really we're going to need a throttle lever so we're going to get a throttle lever inside of our cockpits for testing we will probably delete the throttle lever at a later stage so that will be rps okay we're going to make it maximum of 40 ish sure starting five why not uh cool so now we just need to connect a few things we do need battery i need to also remember to take our infinite uh battery off or infinite electricity off uh, batteries we can put in, I mean, we could probably stick them in here if we wanted to, or even make them here at the inside the creation into like, like seats. And you can imagine we'll put a seat on top of that, possibly. And that way, um, like serves a dual purpose. Probably don't need that much battery also, but I mean, for now, that's fine. Uh, we got battery. We do need fuel. So fuel tanks, fuel tanks. I'm also thinking of having them kind of underneath our creation like part of underneath the seats here so you can imagine there but it's gonna of course dig in quite a bit but i don't want to interfere too much with the front piece so i think if i was to possibly add it in here this way we could refuel from there so this is the largest tank we have cool and we can add in one I mean, we got so much room, don't we? Oh, so much room on these here. Add a couple of these, actually. You don't even see them. Oh, well, okay. Well, I guess we're going to add them in like that, chat. Uh, yeah, we can add three large ones. I mean, if that affects our weight, that's causing weight issues, we can always remove it. But for now, why not? And then you can see we've got the fuel there. And that fuel is then going to run to both of these engines. Uh, here is one of them just over here and the other one is uh going to be the one engine at the rear and let's grab that fuel line and stick it over there and we just need to get this connected uh up to each other i mean you know what we could do is we could actually delete that and just make it run straight across like this uh into a t piece so enclosed t piece close t piece uh, we can come here, put the enclosed T-piece, and then you grab the straight piece, like that. And there, and there. And then all you have to do then is just pretty much just run this across. I don't think we're going to need a uh, pump, so I'm going to leave the pump off for the fuel. I mean, actually even go up, couldn't we? You go up and then across. Right, and there we go, there we go, and there we go. 
Cool. So that means the fuels connect on both sides, which means the engine's going to take the fuel from both of them. Uh, the next thing we need to do is get the propellers running. So, I mean, we can just probably go there. There. Let's get one propeller here. Why not? And then we'll run another one all the way to the front. Uh, I think I might need to add gearboxes. Oh, I already add one. Sorry. I already added one gearbox. So we got that. That. Let's put that facing downwards. And we just need to get our props. And we're going to be using rotor ends that fit in here. That fits. There we go. Perfect. That's one. And then we need to put a second one in, which is going to go over there. And you need to press O and then put it in. Yeah, because that way you get the counterbalance for the uh, the tail rotor or thing that moves it left and right. All right. So we've got that in. Uh, I need space for a door. Well, we could always add a hatch in. I could always add a hatch in here or a hatch at the top. Uh, or I could just make a custom door. But we do, we do have space. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll do it at some point. It does need a supercharger. I mean, we could add a supercharger on at the moment. We'll see what the performance is like. I know that superchargers do, do give you a lot of a lot of um, a lot of performance. But I mean, if we're getting enough, there's no reason to put uh, more power through it. All right, so there we go. We got one. I mean, I can want to add me another one more gearbox, and this time another one facing towards the engine. We can also add in some generators maybe here to come here. We could add a bunch of generators. Let's do two generators for now. Uh, Cause two generators might be enough to do our creation. So one and two. Cool. Uh, this one needs to go to like a two to one. This one is gonna go to a negative to start with. Uh, this needs to go to neutral. This needs to go to neutral. We're gonna grab a gyro, stick a gyro in. Uh, for now, we're going to go with a standard gyro. We're not going to make a custom one. Just a standard stock old gyro. Stick it in over there. Uh, we're going to do a constant on. So we're pretty much now replicating what we did earlier on uh, with all the logic and stuff. We're just replicating that into our creation. Uh, we need a couple ad blocks. We need one ad block here. I'm probably going to put this into a uh, into a thing at some stage, but for now we're good with this into my controller, but for now we're good with that. All right, electricity, um, do that and that, and then I'm just going to go into this, 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 uh, this one, and this one, just for now for testing. Uh, composite is going to go from my seat to, oh, actually, I don't even need that. How does this, oh, this engine doesn't need it. Okay, cool. This engine goes ECU data, da, 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 engine composite data. There we go. Okay. Electricity is done. Engine data is done. Video, no. Can't data. Okay, cool. Uh, what do we need? So we're going to go A and D, which is roll. Yep. Left and right, which is your. Uh, up and down, which is collective. WNS is pitch. Uh, one is going to be to turn the engines on and off. Just one of them for now. Uh, radiator fans there. Starter motor there. Uh, electrical engine. We don't actually have an electrical engine. I mean, you could add one if you want to. Uh, module engine clutch. There we go. Uh, throttle air. There we go. Throttle fuel. There we go. Throttle is coming from here. There we go. RPS from engine. There go. Uh, that's all good. So that's going to send the power out. These are neutral. I already checked that. Okay, cool. So that engine's connected. Now we just need to connect the gyro. Pitch is going into pitch and into pitch. One thing I do want to just check. Hold on two seconds. That's going into the pitch. This is going into the pitch. Which direction is this all facing? Do I have direction arrows? Uh, okay, so I need to just fix that. You can see it's facing the wrong way grab that and i'm just gonna cut it and i'm gonna one two and paste it that way it should have fixed the arrows and the roll should be opposite yes it is perfect and i'm gonna join that together 
done. Uh, next is the up and down, which is goes to my collective and to my collective. Nice and easy. I am inverting it. That's fine. Uh, cool. What else do we need to do? Done, done, done. We need to do my roll. Now, normally, my roll would be inverted on the front one. So, for example, we can invert the front one. This back one we don't need to invert because it's uh, already inverted because we want it in the opposite direction. So we're going to invert the roll on the first one, which is going to go to here and then to there. And the rear one, we're just going to go straight into it. That's the roll. I need to do the pitch. Fix the pitch quickly. Uh, ba, 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 ba. And then for the yaw, we just go into from the yaw straight into both of these ad blocks. One ad block and two ad blocks. So in theory, that is it, if I'm correct, if I haven't forgotten something. But that should be more or less it. Um, might want to uh, clutch those fans. Uh, not really if the run engines are always running those 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 are just always going to get power it's the collective that we're going to be adjusting same like a helicopter in theory use the wheel glitch in fact i was thinking of using the wheel glitch uh like we did with our magic carpet um i think I think we could have used it but i mean i wanted to do something that wasn't really glitch and also was kind of friendly to multiplayer like at the moment the only bodies we have on this creation is those machine guns like this is one whole creation there's no glitches there's nothing in here one creation and that's what i like doing a lot these days is try to make things of performance as well as well performance as possible um Orange Romano said something. For the record, uh, you're a building machine. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Uh, let's go and jump in. Well, can I actually get inside? I don't think I can. I'm going to have to home it. Free cam in here. Let's see if our engine actually works. Uh, how do I turn my engine on? One. Engine doesn't sound happy. What's wrong with the engine? It's got 14.4. I wonder if this is not got enough power. Oh no, it's building. Look. It's building up. It's fine. It's running. Might like to look at the gearboxes in a few minutes. Uh, let's increase RPS to like 20. Can you hear those rotors? If we go inside, we can probably actually see them. Uh, let's try and lift up. Sounds like we've got too much load on the engine. We are up. We are up for a few seconds. We managed to go up for a few seconds. Pitch is... Pitch is working if I go up and do pitch. Look at that. I mean, it's not really moving along, is it? It's trying. Why do I feel like the front one is not going up? It is. Slowly but surely. A proof of concept. Roll. Roll works. Roll the other way. That definitely works. Left. That works. Right. That works. Up. Yeah, up works now. <laughs> okay. We're going to remove the pitch at some point. Supercharger? Yeah, we can. Um, we're going to add this. Remove... We're going to remove the pitch, this pitching part, at some point because we're going to pitch using the another module engine here at the back, uh, and that's going to allow us to go forwards and backwards. But uh, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this, and I don't need this much lift. Uh, she moves. Yeah, <laughs> she's a helicopter at the moment. <laughs> she's a helicopter at the moment. Um, but she does work, which is uh, which is what I wanted to check. I mean, we can probably get the RPS up even more. We got no exhaust coming from her because we've got the catalytic converters. Um. Cool. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go and let's go and um and put another engine in. We're probably gonna put another engine in over here, guys. Um, in this space. 
I'm probably also just going to copy and paste this engine uh, inside there. I might add a couple more banks or cylinders or things like that on there. But I mean, uh, I'm pretty happy with how that engine's looking. Um, I also want to add some type of support structure for that engine. Don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. I mean, probably just put it on some type of cage or something. I mean, we could probably do... Imagine this is going to be the engine at some point. Um, I mean, we could do... We could delete this. I want to do a nice design for this engine to make it look pretty cool. Do something like that and then grab this, grab that, stick that in there. And that's probably going to be my design for my engine. Uh, and then we're going to base everything around that. So I'll probably build this out like that and then grab a one by performance. That's something like that. Ignore this part. I might even ignore the other piece to be honest. Might do something. Is that too big for an engine? Uh, that, that should be pretty cool. I mean, we could make it a little bit thinner. Couldn't we? So this is like the engine cover, and you can imagine the engine's going to be like that. And so we could even do something like that. Uh, I could do something like that. And then that. That. And then here, grab one of these. Don't ask me what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> But uh, that's what I was thinking. I'm kind of thinking it's a little bit too wide. That's what I was thinking for the cover for the rear one. And then you can imagine we're going to have like some supports uh, coming out of this. Possibly something like that. And that's and then. Like that. Just kind of. Hopping, hopping it along and support supports. So those will be the supports for the engines, the rear. I don't know. Chat, what do you think? Yeah, think it looks alright. What I'm building this for, diesel or career? Uh it'll be DLC. It's just guys, it's just fun. We're not we're not building it for a specific reason. I mean it's just I've never built a hovercraft and I want to have some fun with you guys in the live stream. Hence the reason why we're building it. Uh, so we're going to put that engine in and we're going to get the engine in here. I mean, we've got more than enough space to get that engine in. So, I mean, all we need to do is just grab one like this. And we're pretty set to go from there. Yeah, it's super easy. Uh, we can copy it, go up, cross, up again. Got all the space in the world to work with and play with. And we can even move forwards one. Uh, then we would damage that. Okay, let's bring it like that. Uh, we could add a few more cylinders on it too. We do need to get a gearbox in, so we're going to add the gearbox in. We're going to get it facing. Try and get it facing towards the engine. Uh, we're going to link that all together. We do need to get our fuel. So I'm going to grab a anchor. And we're going to use a hose anchor over here. And we're going to add another one just over there. And that's how, that's how the two fluid tanks are going to get connected, just like that. Uh, exhaust is over there. I mean, we could probably just go out. The exhaust doesn't have to go through there. We could just bring it out to the side, maybe. Um, like that. Depends how we do this. Might do that, or we might uh, just do like a ram, an air ram. Yeah, that's it. One of those that might make it look a little bit cooler on the side. Imagine that this will have that across there and then maybe here at the back we would do something like that so that's how that piece there at the back is going to fit in here we could do something some type of design here at the back to fill that out and then we could add a couple more cylinders and things if we want to but i think we should be pretty good i mean we could add a couple more here we could move the fuel of us to move the fuel to here grab this put this in like that that now has given me all the space to work with and play with so i could in theory add another cylinder in there 
can't add another one in there unfortunately okay just got one more cylinder in i mean nothing special can't add more because i don't have any more things there we could possibly do one more forwards but okay i mean let's just do it back i'm not i'm not gonna bother for one more cylinder oh, okay, i guess we can let's add one here all right so let's just rotate that around cool so we've got one more cylinder in there whoopee whoopee uh cool so that's all done uh gearbox increase that up and so what we're going to do now is i'm actually going to disconnect my pitch uh that does all this stuff i'm going to disconnect the pitch from my ear and i'm going to disconnect the pitch over here and the pitch now is going to go into this collective and this collective is going to be on a neutral and we're going to obviously connect up this whole engine so i mean turn the engine on and off will be one start a motor there we go radiator fans there we go electrical engine we don't have one uh i mean we could actually add an electrical engine just to get the things up and running a little bit quicker uh, could do that couldn't we we could add one or at least just to the lift fans mm, okay we'll stay with our, with our electrical engine uh let's go and do our modular engine clutch which is that uh we need to get our throttle for the air which is that one we need to get throttle for the fuel which is that one we need to get our throttle which is coming in from i mean we could should we do a different throttle i think we feel i feel like we should have another throttle in we should have one throttle for the lift and one throttle for the for the thrust so this is our lift rps and then this one will be our throttle thrust thrust rps yeah and we're going to max 40 start five sensitivity 25 percent sure i um, will connect that in done uh put that into my throttle rps needs to be connected up from there i think yes everything else should be done Composites needs to go from my engine. It's there. Transmission data, ECU data, don't need any of that. Electricity, we're just gonna go throttle lever, starter, that. And the last thing we will need to connect are these fins here at the back, but uh, I will sort that out in a few minutes, guys. I just wanna see how this works and if I also need to extend this piece here. Uh, let's go and spawn that in. See if that engine at the rear is gonna work. It won't because I didn't connect the fuel. So that's the first thing I'm gonna fix uh, is the fuel line. And I mean, to fix the fuel line, oh, we could actually hmm, and go from here across. Yeah, let's do that. So we're gonna go from here across there and we're going to grab, did I do, I just messed up, didn't I? Okay, I need to grab a enclosed Omni? No. Corner? I think it's corner. Cross? I never know with these pipes. Cross? No. The easiest thing is just to go and look at these ones. I need this one. TP's corner. TP's corner. I need to enclose one of those. Uh, also don't like about these new pipes. Uh, that? No. That? That. that that's what I want. There we go. I think that's going to be fine. And then I just need a corner piece and a corner piece. So I need to go like that. I need to go like that. And I need to grab a enclosed corner piece. Yes. That's going to go like that. Okay. So that's done. So that should be the fuel. I just need to connect the rope piece. That's going to connect that up. And now the engine should work. Have you tried naming the controller in the thing? I don't know what it's called. In the controller? What do you mean? AJ, uh, you seem experienced. Why are my my controller name not saving? It's just saving my controller. What do you mean? So when you click on it here, you mean this name here? That's the name over there. And then you, when you save it again, there is another name that you can give it. So there's two different names that you need to think about that. All right, cool. Let's one this and let's check. Let's see if this is going to work. So I need to go inside. I need to add a door. Done. Uh, this is fine. One. 
Throw it up, throw it up. For like 10 RPS. We might need to add electrical engine. It might be, it sounds like there's a little bit too much load on that engine at the rear. Underneath. Should sort it out of art. Let's just go and see which engine is currently having an issue. This one? I think it's this one. Eight nine, eight nine, and this one. Seventeen RPS. Russell. Why is my fuel manifold on zero? Ah, uh, because I messed that pipe up. Hold on. Delete that. Oops. See what's going on here hold on guys so that's fuel that's air that's my clutch it's fine i've blades neutral fine let's just reduce that down a bit uh we definitely have fuel yep that's going through there i might need to add a pump uh that's going fine that goes across into there that's get sharing across with all that fuel i need to add a pump arg uh, I mean, I can check that right now by doing that and doing this. Tell you guys if that needs a pump straight away. It, it might do. It's quite far away from the fuel tanks. Now let's go and jump in here. It also might be in the gearbox. Still sounds like it's having a little bit of a hard time. See what's going on. I copied and pasted that engine, didn't I? Air fuel ratio. Definitely got throttle on the fuel. Definitely got throttle on the air. It's got too much load on it. Yeah, it's got too much load on that engine. Uh, that's why it's not it's not rotating. Um, I definitely do have my pitch connected to that. I do. All right. That is on neutral. It is. Alright. Uh, I mean, the gearbox is the one thing we could try and fix. So we can go... I mean, let's go grab it. Let's put it on reverse. Negative 0.1. Sure, why not? And do we have electricity on everything? Do... Motor is going in there. That's correct. It's going into the right one. Engine data. Yes, that's correct. Um... Can... What else is going on? No air? Oh, well done. Didn't see that. Well done, well done you. I didn't see that. Uh, we we missed the air part. All right. Well done you, because it's because I put that paste that in there. It got all weird. Um, Well done you for that. Thanks. Uh, so we can just put the air in by doing that and that, for example. That will actually fill out quite nicely. Well done, well done, well done. Hold on, no, no air issue. Ah, uh, cool, that's all fine. That's all fine. We should be able to easily small work now. Let's go and check it out. Sometimes I miss these things, chat. Everyone does. Sounds like engines are running. Happy days. So now we should be able to lift. Lift. Maybe not yet. Let's go forwards. Okay, we need to lift a little bit. There we go. Not that much. Oh, wow. Well. Come on. Is my pitch inverted? Maybe? I wonder if my... Oh, it's because I actually got rid of the pitch. Hold on, chat. I know what I've done wrong. I still need my pitch to go to these. I still need the pitch to go there. Forgot about that. Uh, pitch, pitch. I still need pitch to go to these things. I just don't need. Wait, I still need pitch. Yeah, I still need pitch to go there. I just don't want to enter in any pitch into my thing. So we're going to go from there. And then that is going to go to that one. There we go. 
That should work better. Now, uh, gearbox settings on that. That looks fine. Decrease that a bit. Cool. So the hovercraft. Yeah. It's just for testing. We can always get more power out of this, adding more engines and things. This is just to see if it works. There we go. Engines got up to running so much quicker now. Lift. And now we don't have enough power to lift it, looks like. I'd see inside here, but I can't. Definitely can rotate the engines. Looks like we're a little bit heavy in terms of lifting, so we might need to add more gearboxes for lifting. If we go forwards. Ah, oh, there we go. We can go forwards. There we go. Look at that. Let's go in the water. Let's see how that one works. We should eventually lose some air. We should go a little closer to the water. Okay, we definitely need to add more gearboxes to the rear engine, I think. Definitely some more to the rear. But it is, it is working. Flying hovercrafts. <laughs> yeah, it is flying at the moment. All right. Okay. So, uh, we need to get some more power out of these engines here at the back. So, currently we've got this on reverse. So, what I would like to do is invert invert that, come here, get that up to like a 2 to 1. We're going to grab the invert block. I want to put all my logic more or less here so I know where it all is. I don't want to delete it later on by accident. All right. So, um, forwards and backwards, which is W and S, is going to go in there. And that's going to go to collective okay that should be fine there uh so we've done that um someone clipped that flying hovercraft <laughs> you guys can do that all right cool we've also got this gearbox which is facing towards the engine you've got another gearbox this is the one that's inverting this around and then doing that i mean we could probably get rid of that invert and then just switch the collective on these that's one option we could even add more propellers it's another option that we have to get a little more power out of this creation. Could add more, some more propellers. Uh, the engine. What about the engine? What if we were to increase that to a three by one? Is that going to kill the engine straight away? Also, we can get our fuel back. I uh, probably had my fuel earlier on, which is a anchor. So let's get the fuel anchor on. Oh, and let's grab another fuel anchor. Cool. And let's connect the rope for that. Let's do another little test. Let's go and see how that's going to work. Jump inside. Engine's on. Increase throttle. Increase throttle. Okay, and then I think the next thing I want to work on is getting this to lift to a certain height. That's probably going to be my next next objective. Increase height. Come on, there we go. We had it there for a brief second, which means we don't have enough power in that engine. You can see how it started to lift it and then lost its power straight away, so there was a little bit too much load on um, on it. So that's the that's the issue you can see now goes up there's a little bit too much load on that little front that little front or that little engine over there it's a little bit too much load if we were to increase the size of the engine or put some superchargers and things like that we should probably get better performance uh, out of it i mean what about my thrust fan i was to go and increase my thrust fan We can definitely get some good speed with that thrust fan now. That it, RPS, I've just crashed it. The RPS is going way too high on that one. But uh, 
definitely get that working. Um, chat, what's going on? What is Night Nightbot all about? Nightbot keeps you guys in control. Um. Ooh, what else? Supercharger? Yeah, we can do a supercharger. We can definitely do a supercharger. Add a weapon station. Yeah, we're going to have a... We will have a station. Probably that uh, little seat there will probably be a station where you guys can sit in there and you can obviously gun this gun. Then we might link all of those guns up together. Um, or what we could even do is get that, uh, get these ones on radar guided so they can just go and shoot things. We can add it onto the AI gunner add on. I mean, there's a lot of different things that we could do with that. We'll have to wait and see. All right. What else do we need? Okay. So the next thing I said I wanted to do is make sure I've got the lift working. Uh, so that is the next thing that we're going to focus on. I also want to maybe add some more. I would make these en this engine a little bit bigger. That's probably also another thing I might want to do. Add some more cylinders on this thing. So let's do that quickly. If I can do that. I'm just thinking I'm going to move this stuff further back. I think. Add another three cylinders on. Should be enough. Add that on. And I can just do it by doing this. That should be all right. And cutting it and pushing that back by like two. I know it's interfering with that. It's fine. Mm -hmm. That much. Make a big engine. Why not? That much. Another three cylinders. Why not? Cool. Uh, then we just need to go over here. Grab that. Stick that there. Leave that. Put that there. And grab that. Put there. Can actually try to keep it at so let's grab that T piece pipe in there grab that put it straight get one of these generators don't need that many for now grab that put that in there uh that should all be fixed that's on fine that's fine make sure we've got electricity back on i do think i need to take infinite electricity off that yep i need to take that off before i forget um, all right, what else? You should do the cockpit so the enemies don't uh, gun you down. You should do it in the cockpit. Yeah, well, that's the that's the idea, is having all the controls in the cockpit. Uh, that way you can, can shoot. I mean, in Stormworks at the moment, if you get hit by a round, you're pretty much... It's going to damage this in any case, so... It is what it is, <laughs> but, I mean... You can just imagine that, yes, it would very protect you inside there. And that would all be armored in theory. All right, cool. Let's go and add a little more power onto this engine. So, I mean, we can add another cylinder there and we can possibly add another cylinder over there. Okay. And that gives us a bit more power out of this. Let's make sure I've got this facing the right way. There we go. And that should give us quite a bit more little power. A couple more cylinders on the engine. Sure, I connect all this up. Done. Done. That's all good. That's all good. Uh, that's all good. Cool. So that's a much bigger or at least a little bit bigger engine there. Should give us a little more power. Uh that should be pretty good. We lower this down. Oh, we don't. Just leave it like that. I also need to enclose that at some point. Uh get rid of those at some point. We need to paint this at some point. We need that detailing at some point. We need to get the guns working at some point. There's a lot of things we still need to do, chat. Still a lot of things that we need to do. And we have time, which is a nice thing. Okay, we've got that in. We've got all this connected. And that's good. Okay, let's make the system now that's actually going to go and measure our altitude and our height and all those uh, more cylinders. More cylinders. Yeah, we do need, always need more cylinders. Um. So the next thing we're going to do is add something that's going to measure the height of this creation. So we're going to add in here at the front, we're going to add in a distance sensor. And we're also going to add in a uh, altitude sensor. Alt and distance. Okay. I'm going to create a little mic controller for this and we're going to be building it in my controller. 
but those two things there i mean we don't have to put them right there we could put them on the sides we could actually add a few of them that way it would measure each side of it um i'm guessing you're not going to finish this today i mean we're, we're i'm going to try and get it to at least a working hovercraft uh but in terms of detailing and things like that, we might come back later on or i might just finish this by myself um but we'll get as far as i can get today so we've got the old sensor and thing now we're going to create a little mic controller and i have some blank ones that i like using for this exact purpose so i'm just going to go and like place it here in the front and then i click on it and we can increase the size so it's going to make it a relatively small actually we don't need a big one and we're going to go in logic we're going to do two inputs so one will be the distance sensor one will be our alt sensor number in number in and then we're going to have a number out actually we're going to have on off why not I mean, we should always have this on, shouldn't we? Oh, let's just have it on off for... Yeah, let's have it on off. And then the last thing we're going to have is our collective out. And that's going to tell it to go up and down. That's going to be a number uh, put. Cool. Logic. Split this all out. Done and done. All right. We're going to grab a switch box. And put that in there. Uh, we'll need this in a few minutes. I'm going to start by only doing, let's go and do the distance as we were doing earlier on. We're going to grab a PID. We're going to grab a regular PID. We're going to do our set point is going to be a number. And we're going to say that our set point is always to be, let's say 0 0.5, which is two, one, half a meter. Uh, how many meters should we be above the ground? One meter? Four blocks no probably like 0 0.5 no above the ground 0 0.5 should be about fine uh as our set point our variable is going to be our distance great and we're going to turn it on off with this we're then going to go to our collective uh do we need a clamp mm, at the moment i mean let's clamp it from zero from negative one to negative one to one so we'll clamp it just to start off with and there we go and the settings for the pid will start with one and zero zero uh i mean you can also do like this is a very great way to start with that those settings there and if you increase this to two uh and then three and four and five just leave that as is uh if it's not dampening enough you can add more dampening uh integral if you want to go a little bit quicker uh, you could do that i mean there's a lot of different ways you can set up a pid i recommend if you guys want to do check out my uh, check out my there's a controller and a video I did on it a while back that I did um, on how to at least measure what your PID is doing using a visual aid um, so that's a cool little way of learning if you want to all uh, right cool so we're going to update that and we're now going to get that connected so first things first is I'm just going to go and check to make sure I've got my electricity on everything which I think I don't so Connect that to my distance sensor and we should be good. And now we're going to connect my distance to my distance, my alt to my alt, my on off. Let's use one. Uh, actually, let's use two. Why not? Two. And then that's going to go collective and that can go into my gyro. And that is the up down right there. Cool. Done. Uh, and that's pretty much it, eh? I think we need anything else, do we? No. That should be good. Uh, now, if we've got enough power in our engine, that should be able to lift it up and down. Let's go and check. One thing I'm going to do before we do anything else, Chad, is I'm just going to delete these windows just so I can get in and out of this creation a little bit easier. We need to add doors at some point. Uh, it's in there. And one. I might also want to add a readout for that uh, PID. So, lift fan. Have we actually lifted off the ground? Doesn't look like it. Give it some more RPS. Are we lifting? All right. So what I'm going to do now is this is add a dial, and that way I can actually read out what my current distance is and where I need to be. So I'm going to add it in here, there, and there. And let's say that this is my distance. Distance spell tonight distance and this 
Urk. This is distance, and this one is going to be my uh, PID offset. Okay, and we're going to connect those up. Uh, so this is distance, which is coming from here. This is my PID offset, which is going to be from here. Uh, I think I actually need to invert them around, don't I? I think that's one issue. I need to put this as negative, so I need to do a negative 0.1. If you don't want to put a negative here, you can also just add a function block. And a uh, function, you could just do a negative x on the function block. So you could do that. Done. That's a negative number now. Cool. Just want that in. Did it. Happy days. How do you copy Lua from the help center? What do you mean? In. Like if you go in here and you go into. Where you see help center. From here. Here. What are you what are you referring to as the help center? Explain to me, please. Let's go and test this. One. Distance is currently 16. Well, that's because we're under the ground, aren't we? Hmm. That's quite irritating. It spawns and then it thinks it's under the ground. Quite irritating. Uh lift fan. And thrust fan. I mean, we just need to get it a little bit high. God, I pressed enter. Go forwards a bit. I just wanted to think that it's not under the ground. Because at the moment, the problem is that distance sensor is actually hitting this. And it thinks it's underneath the ground. Which is the, the our biggest issue at the moment. I'm so... I mean, I can offset that, couldn't I? Into our propeller. <laughs> I could do that too. Uh, I need to put it over here. So theoretically, I just need to grab. If I was to do this chat, for example, you'll have a look. If I and cut it and we'll stick it in, let's say, let's imagine like right there. Have a look at how different it's going to work in a few seconds. Pull that in and jump back in my seats. Oh, I didn't turn it on, did I? One. And now if I press 2, offset is at negative 0.3, and distance is 0 0.2, so... Okay, so it's not giving it enough in order for it to lift up, so it's not correcting itself enough. So if we were to go back to my PID here, and let's increase this to like... Three. And also probably lower uh lower the eye. Increase the eye. Integral. Oh, let's try again. One. Two. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Still not enough. Oh, it's negative. Is it negative? Is it because the issue of putting negative through? Chat, it's late at night. I've been working all day. Sorry. I'm sorry. So if the distance, hold on, let me just have a look at this. So I'm asking it for be always at a 0 0.5 distance. It's asking it to go to a negative 0 0.3. I'm certain I need a negative there, but let me just remove it for now. All right, let's check. Currently our distance is 0 0.2. Say to give it a 0 0.91. Is it actually going to lift it? Should be lifting, shouldn't it? Did I not connect something? So th theoretically, though, that lift fan underneath there should be getting a 0 0.9. So you can see it does look like it's trying, it just doesn't have enough power, is that right? There we go, yep, look, if I gave it more RPS, there we go, it's actually lifting now for the first time. Alright, cool, it's not really happy with me, but it is lifting, which is the one thing I wanted to do, and then in theory, if 
I give that back engine a little bit more RPS, I should be able to go forwards. It's not perfect. Definitely not perfect. That's Oscar. That's going way too quick. All right. So it's the power with that uh, engine. That's a negative. We'll go put that gearbox back on. Where's the gearbox? It's there. Start to like nine to five. That should be fine. Okay. So that's done. Uh, I wonder if we could move this back. We possibly could. Uh, let's fix the PID. Let's adjust it a little bit. Uh, let's bring it down to to 0 0.1 and let's do 0 0.4 test that setting out there we don't need that anymore i uh, can spawn that in edit let's go and see all right so now that we have that in up rps let's do like 30 25 rps for now let's turn our hover on Okay, went up for a few seconds. Looks like it just needs to rebuild this RPS. There we go. And you can see it is lifting. Look at that. Look at that chat. That's my height that I told it to go to. And now I can tell it to go forwards. Let's give it some throttle here. I do need to connect, I do need to connect the uh, rudders at the back. Hello, can you go forwards? Oh, I'm just doing the wrong button. Oh, it's why is it rolling the wrong way? Let's get this down. Hold on. I'll go forwards. So as soon as I press the W, the lift motors went down a bit. Why is that happening? In theory, we shouldn't actually be touching that. Let's have a look at this. Let's go back in here. Let's go back in here. Uh, let's do this. Let's change that to one. I need to lower that actually. Um, actually, can I lower that down? Can I get that down to like 0. 0. 0. 0.4? I'm going to try that chat. I, I don't know if that's going to work, but I'm going to try that. Um, it's just tuning now. I'm just tuning this PID. Uh, Offset of 0 0.1, that's fine. Yeah, that should be alright actually. Pretty good. I might want to add another sensor at the back, because you can see how the back is going up a little bit. So I might add another sensor, another PID, and then that will control the collective of the rear individually to the one that we're controlling right now. That's another thing I'm thinking of doing. Um, Let's go forwards. Okay, if I go forwards, you can see it's kicking the back down. But I mean, that's fine. If it kicks the rear down. That's actually pretty cool. I like how it kicks the rear down. I think that's quite a nice little touch. Um, yeah, let's go in the water here a bit. I'm going to roll it. See what happens. Oh, okay. And that's where we need the altitude uh because currently now it's trying to do it's trying to dig itself down into the water because it's um it's just checking the distance and the distance as you can see here is currently six so it's like oh what's going on sink 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 yourself obviously and my creation is like no we're not sinking um so because there's obviously lift on it so this is where you want the altitude sensor and we are going to go we also need a contact sensor, don't we? Distance. So we're going to measure the distance, how far we are to the ground, or we're going to check the alt, which uh, if we're on water, should be zero. So this is why I added that switch box in. So if we come in here and distance is... If distance, let's see. We've got the switch box. We're going to do less than. So if our altitude... 
I can't remember how to do this. It's been so long. I've tried to play it. Done with. Um, you just, you literally, it's like a follow to follow altitude or follow distance that you're looking for. Um, and you check to see which one is less. So if your distance is less than your alt, your distance is less than your alt. It's like, chat, I'm sorry. It's been a night, a long day, a long week. Um, if your distance is less than your altitude then something then it goes and switches it and instead then what you do is you then send your alt through to your set point here uh your variable and then this goes through there something like that i can't remember chat help me i can't remember it's been a long day um if my distance, yeah, it takes whatever is the least amount or highest amount. I can't remember what I did. Something like, something like this, chat. I need to have a think about it. Uh, but something like that to get it to work. Okay, let me just check there. Let's spawn that in. Let's see how it's work. I was going to fix the issue with that. I need to move it somewhere else at some point. Uh, let's check it again. Yeah, this is on negative one now. Yeah, it's the other way around. <laughs> well done. Well done. Um, if the alt, yes, if the alt is less, chat. If the distance is greater than altitude, yes. If distance is greater. Distance is greater than altitude, then switch to the altitude as the variable. And it goes to one. Yeah, something like that, chat. Um my brain is not functioning right now. I'm sorry. Let's go and check. Turn it on. Yeah, there we go. Roll off up a little more. There we go. Happy days. We do need to add, um, we need to get the steering fixed at the back for those rudders and things. But I mean, that is working, isn't it? What if we turn? Yep, that's working perfectly. Pretty happy with that, actually. That's a fully working hovercraft chat. I mean, it's got some issues, but I mean... Whoopee! <laughs> we just killed, like, all of my engines. <laughs> Which engine is trying to restart? That one. Let's turn them all off. Do I ever rage quit? Because I know sometimes with this game. Um I don't rage quit. With Stormworks, I I play until I get bored. Um so like if I'm building something like this and I'm just hitting my head against the wall or if I'm not enjoying it anymore, I, I what I usually do is I will step away or I'll stop playing for a bit and then I'll come back. And that's usually um, what gives me the motivation to carry on with projects. Um, obviously I get irritated with a few things, but uh, in the day I know that I, I, at some point I'll get, I'll get it fixed and I'll get it working. It's just not right now. Uh, and that's why I like moving on to something else. So for example, like if I can't get like all my detailing done, I'll move on to the logic. Onto the logic. Or if I don't want to do the logic, I'll do like the design work first. I just move on to different things. Or I'll just step away for a bit. Uh, let's see if I can get this up and running again. That's the rear on. What about... I also need to get a readout here for my other things. I can... It sounds like the other engine is not working. It's running. Exhaust is at zero. Um... Well, let's go back and see if this is working. 
Kind of sounds like the starter motor is stuck on. Yeah, it sounds like the starter motor is stuck on at the moment. All right, that's a that's something that we can fix at some. Yeah, it sounds like the starter motor is on. I mean, it might be my controller. I'm. Um, Cool. Uh, ever considered uh, a larger scaled ship? I mean, I've got a lot of large scale ships. Some of them are in the workshop, some of them are not. And some are just uh, projects that I just haven't worked on or finished yet. Um, but I do have some. Okay, I want to go and connect my rudders and steering and stuff. So for my yaw, we should be able to... Let's firstly connect some electricity. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then we're going to go from this guy and we're going to go from here that's a yaw into one two three uh do i need to i do to rotate this guy cut it and rotate it place it down and i think i might need to yep i need to build a block here all right and uh, that's about it and then i don't know if i want to connect that up maybe to the pitch I feel like I should uh, I should connect that over to the pitch just to make sure this thing is always level uh, but we'll see we might remove that we might not let's just go and see how that works um have you made a rocket and what do you think about a space major update um well it's, it's being discussed from when we spoke to the developers they said they were discussing it but they don't know how to they said they were a little unsure how they would implement it I feel like before we get a space update, we need to get an overhaul on Korea. In we need to get an overhaul in, on Korea, just into the base game. But that's my opinion. Cool. Let's wait for this to get up and running, guys. The fan, the more. No. Hello. Yeah. There's lift. Nice. Let's get thrust. Let's go forwards. Nice. Look at that. So now if I turn left, <laughs> look at the back. That's pretty cool. And you can see that turning at the back and you can see how it's trying to uh, push, trying to push the back down. I think it's trying to push it back down or trying to push the back up. You can see the pitch there. It's actually almost taking off. Oh, wow, we're going too fast. I'm going to hit something. Yep. <laughs> I hit that. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, bye-bye. Let's bring this back into the workbench. Um, Have you ever considered doing a more detailed guide on modular engines? Like how much uh, cooling to use, how many exhausts, whether multiple air folds make a difference? I'm... Um, I've got a whole video series on testing modular engines um, where we tested like turbochargers, we tested the amount of cylinders, we tested out a um, whole bunch of, we tested out a whole bunch of different ways of working with the creation uh, or with, which are working with modular engines. Uh, go check it out. Uh, they're really, really cool. Really cool. Pit needs some stabilization. Yeah, I mean, everything always needs a little stabilization i don't usually focus on the stabilization too much right this second uh because the thing is you're going to add more than likely you're probably going to be adding more weight in you're probably going to be changing the design a little bit uh, i mean there's probably a lot of things you're probably going to be doing still and that's why i don't like focusing on it too much right this second but as i said it's completely up to you and how you want to build here in stormworx uh yeah and you build how you want to build and that's the that's the whole thing is in stormix you build how you want to build i'm going to get rid of these guys for now uh, we're going to put these back on uh well, actually i might just leave the machine gun there let's just leave the machine gun delete the pivots and things um you build how you want and that's the lovely thing about stormix is you don't have to listen to anyone and how they're telling you to build the game or play the game you build and you play the game how you want to play it that's the cool thing about Stormix. It's a sandbox. Build it however you want it. You play it however you want to play it. Um, cool. So we've got that done. Uh, the engine covers probably should go on by now. Get that on there. Get that on. I don't know how I'm going to do this part though, chat. How I'm going to do this piece here. I want to make it look pretty cool, but at the same time, we need to get that connected. So, I mean, what we could do... 
I don't know. We'll come up with some idea there to do that. Um, we'll have to wait and see what we're going to do with that. But for now, I'm pretty happy with that idea. Uh, we've got that engine working, that engine working, that null's done. Uh, as I said, I want to do some paint work. So what I think I would like to do next. So we're going to grab the plane fill. We're going to do black. Do black. Black. For the skirting. Might throw on some touches of gray maybe into the skirting. Let's do that. Uh, that. I do have symmetry mode on. I do. Yeah. Oh. Uh, done. Done, done, done. I know this looks probably terrible on video. But I'm sorry, chats. It's going to be. Done, 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 done. Cool. So that is the skirting done. It's the back. Cool. Uh, I just need to paint this little piece. This is going to be moved, by the way, guys. This little part here in the front will be moved. But for now, we're going to leave it. Um, let's do the windows. It's like a dark gray. And this is just a temporary coloring, guys. For now, until we do some more proper coloring and more proper painting. Now, uh, this is what I'm going with. Uh, black for that. Gray. Gray. We're going to have gray windows there, too. That's all going to be gray. This might be like a silver color. Might be a dark gray etc okay and i don't know what other we're probably gonna go with like a green color for now i'll leave it a white uh but we will go with like a green color i think for for the rest of it and there's gonna be a door here also that i'm going to add in i think maybe how should i i think the door i think what i'm going to do chat is i'm going to make a door that like folds outwards uh, and up so, for example, what I'm thinking is, do I have a door here? Fill that in and fill that in. Mm, no, let's, do the, let's get rid of that. Maybe the other side, let's get rid of that. Uh, what we can do is we can make a door. We don't have to make it seal, by the way, because this area is actually not sealed at the moment. Uh, and we still got plenty of buoyancy underneath this creation. Uh, we could make a door that kind of like folds up using some pivots. We could put like a pivot here and then it would fold upwards so that, that that's that's the idea there all right cool let's go and spawn that let's look like see what it looks like once we painted it i mean chat what do you think so far i mean it it needs some polishing it definitely needs some polishing here um but i mean besides that i think this could be and could end up like a really cool creation like if you looked at um Remember looking at the A10, A10 build, and how we did that. Um, the A10 build started off looking like some blocks, but then look what it like. I'm gonna just save this, and I want to show you guys the A10. I want to show you what it started off as and what it finished as. So if we save this uh, as my hovercraft. So A10 started off. Let's find the A10 here. A10. This is what the A10, I think, started off as. This one? Yeah. Remember, that's what the A10 started off as. That? Yeah. That was that was our, our first design. Yeah. So that was, remember, our first rough design. And now, look what the A10 finished as, chat. Yeah. You can see how you once you have your rough design, you can slowly start bringing it down and bringing it down and bringing it down until you you feel happy i mean this is still the same creation it's just slowly worked on and slowly worked on and slowly worked on until you get to where you want to get it uh and the same thing is going to happen with the hovercraft is that we will carry on building it eventually and we'll get it to the stage where we're happy with it um and it will be really epic and really cool and i mean i think we've done really cool uh it's really fun and i'm learning guys i'm learning as as you guys are which is also pretty cool i've never done a hovercraft here in stormworks before um so i'm learning i'm learning just like you guys uh so let's go and test this thing out again i'll have some more fun with it before we finish off today we do need to change the height so i want to bring that one lower in the front there i think it's one too high 
uh, in the front. I also maybe want to get rid of the roll. I don't know if I really want the roll anymore. I definitely do want the yaw, which is the left and right movements. I might get rid of the roll. The roll's not really helping me too much, is it? We should also be able to go here. If I was to go forwards, should be able to go on that beach. Yeah. Should be able to go along this beach area. Pretty relatively easy, actually. Oh, that's an issue. I need to get some more. I need to get some more sensors. Because you can see, I've, as I've gone over that, the system's gone, okay, I need to go lower. But now, because half of my creation is not actually over it, it won't won't go forwards. <laughs> it won't go forwards. I'll go backwards. Can I go backwards? No, it's like hugging the ground. I need to turn the lift fan off and go forwards, I think. Can I even do that? Do this. Yes, that I can do. Yeah, it's because I had that. Now I should be able to do fine. Now I can go to... Uh, if I was to reverse this, <laughs> if I reverse this, this will be fine. Look, if I reverse it, it's fine because the sensor is in the, in the front. Yeah, see how the back is staying at the same height, but as soon as I drop the front off where the sensor is, see how the whole creation stops dropping down. But we definitely need to add a few more of these sensors on. Um, we definitely need to add a few more of these sensors on, but once we do, I think it'll be, it's going to work really nice. Um, that. Ah, chat. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah, really happy with that. Look at that. Turn around. Go. Your back looking good. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. That's our hovercraft, and that's what she's she's gonna look like. I mean, let's just max out this. Already add some gearbox. I need to add some gearboxes onto that rear one. Get some more power out the rear. I mean, straight away, I'm pretty happy with that. One episode, little hovercrafts, works on land, works on water. Are you going to make a dynamic moving skirt? No, because of performance, and I want this to work in multiplayer. Um, so the more pivots, the more things you add. This adds, um, is gyro is installed? Yes, uh, gyro is installed. I might make my own one though. Um, but we'll see, see what happens. Chat, um, I think we are going to finish over there for today, to be honest. Um, and you can see if I turn everything off, because we've got floats underneath it, it actually just floats in the water, which I wanted. I think we're going to end it over there, guys. Um, we've been going for a bit. We're nearly coming nearly up to uh, three hours, which is about where I usually finish off my live streams. Um. Guys, I would love to hear what you think uh, about the hovercraft so far. I think what we'll do is we'll do another live stream. Maybe this weekend. Maybe this live stream this weekend. But um, I am going to finish up for today. We're going to... I'm going to... I need to get some... How do you copy things? Uh, selection grid. Um, are you going to add ammo uh, reload system? Yeah, we might. Um, but yeah, we're going to finish up for today. Um, obviously, tomorrow is an update in the Stormix, so I'm excited to see what we get tomorrow. Uh, or we should be an update. Yeah. Um, so we, we should get some cool things uh, tomorrow. If not um, an update, then maybe an announcement tomorrow with some cool features. So we'll see tomorrow what we're going to get here in Stormix. Maybe we get something, maybe we don't. Um, but otherwise, we'll do another live stream either next week or... This weekend uh, i do want to play some space engineers this weekend so i'm going to be playing that and maybe doing a few videos for you this weekend on that um but yeah guys let, let me know in the comments go in the comments box let me know if you want to see a live stream soon on this if you guys have enjoyed building this if there's anything else you would like to build in the live stream let me know so guys we're going to finish there if you have enjoyed it, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, guys. It really does help the little YouTube over room if you guys have liked the video and, you know, and stuff like that. Even if you guys can't support me, that is a great way to support me as a content creator here on YouTube. So, guys, uh, I'll say goodbye. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next one.